Yo, it's Damien. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you for joining me. Thank you to the new subscribers. Thank you for those that comment and thank you for those that like the video. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the 17 Design Folding Lure Receiver, a great alternative to other adapters. And um, to the best of my knowledge, this is the only one on the market that is at a decent price, coming in at around $19.99. You cannot lose with purchasing the 17 design, not $19.99, $199. And that's a sale price. This is actually the only, this is the only lower receiver, folding that is, that is competitive with the adapters. Whereas you're spending around $250, $300 just for the adapter, um, you're getting a whole lower receiver for about the same price. Now, if you need to use a specific lower receiver, then it makes sense to get the alternative, the adapters or whatever you need to do. But if you're not and you're new to the folding gun game, um, the 17 design is actually a decent alternative for the novice. Now this isn't a paid advertisement and um, 17 design don't even know I'm doing this. But I know that somebody out there is looking online and they're trying to find a, a decent alternative to a folding AR pistol or a folding um, regular pistol or folding anything really. You're just looking for a folding um, firearm. So if you are in the market for in 556, uh, I think they do sell it for bigger calipers like, uh, you know, 308s. But you go check out the website and they'll be able to answer that question way better than I can. However, we're not here to talk about uh, anything other than the 556 variation. So with that said, um, if you think if you're looking for like advice on whether you should buy it or not, um, if you are on a budget and you don't have a specific low receiver that you absolutely need to use, I think that 17 design is perfect for you. Just look at it. I'm gonna give you a nice walk around of the pistol. So this is the pistol, you know, closed. This is it open. All right, clear. Fire was clear. Now, one of the issues you might have is the length of the actual extender or the folding part. Well, it still falls under the 13 and a half uh, requirement that the the A joints have. So you're straight, but in the event that you think that you might be like on the edge, you know, you can purchase. One of those SB tactical um yeah. took me a while to figure that out. You could buy one of these SB tactical stoppers right here, which kind of limits how far the pistol brace can actually go in the event that you're stopped and interrogated by 12. Chances of that happening, in my opinion, are mighty low unless you sus suspected of some crime or you're doing illegal activity but if you average joe that ain't really gonna be a con that shouldn't really be a concern for you but you know I, I like to keep it strictly legitly legal so i added it you know it gives me a just a level of comfort knowing that if anyone acts i fall way below the compliance or requirement that the uh, atf have okay um it performs pretty good at the range I ain't got no complaints, you know what I mean? I was like, whoop -de -whoop, hitting some shots down range, doing real dope, looking real like official. Um, so I don't really think, as far as performance concern, it has nothing to really do with your accuracy. Uh, all of the ammunition I fired through it seemed to have fed pretty well. Um, yeah, I ain't really had no issues. One issue I did have actually is I didn't lock the bolt. I didn't free the bolt, so pop this open the stopper got stuck where the trigger meets the pin and that was a bit of a headache to like unlock so you know you got to be wary of that you purchase this make sure that the bolt is forward i mean i think now with any of these folding type fun fact it come with this buffer tube right here you're gonna appreciate that because you know it just leaves you one less thing to think about when you're putting the firearm together and if you have all of the innards of the lower receiver and you have your upper receiver you basically all you need to do is uh, hit the range you ain't got to worry about like 
trying to find extra parts. The spring is a stock spring that came without, no, actually, it's not a stock spring. It's not a stock spring. Um, but the military grade trigger, this is a stock pistol, put it like that. The only real fancy thing about this will be this folding adapter piece. Um, I hit you with some cons, I hit you with some pros. I mean, if you're in the market, I could recommend it. I don't really see any issues, I don't see any faults with it. A uh, little bit bulky, the whole thing is aluminum, so. You know, throwing it down, it'll dent easily, so you might catch those um, spurs, end up hurting yourself too. So you want to take that in consideration too, because I I chuck this in a backpack, and I be, you know, I don't want to say I be, I have other firearms in my backpack as well, and they're more likely to scratch this too. So, you know, if you care about the finish on your pistol or your firearm, any of your firearms, um, it will behoove you to either Cerakote it or wrap it with something. You know, I wrap it with a, a, like, like one of these things, you know what I mean? I wrap it with something like that. I always got one in the, in the bag that I wrap around a pistol whenever I'm gonna transport it, if I have too many things going on inside of the bag. Other than that, this joint is basically to the elements. You know what I mean? You, you gonna enjoy, you gonna enjoy the way you shoot. And I mean, compared to what you're getting with the adapter, I think value wise it's if you even if you get the the folded adapters um I don't think you could go wrong with having this lower receiver in your collection because for pistols that you just want to absolutely like if you if you don't want to have a too expensive pistol just like in your car you can't go wrong you can't go wrong with this I mean let's say $200 for a little backpack gun or a truck truck gun and you get to, I mean, like, like, have this. So, I don't know who need to hear this, but if you're in the market and you're looking for a folding pistol and you don't want to spend a grip on try to figure out how to install an adapter on your existing pistol, um, and you're comfortable with changing the lower receiver, I think that you won't enjoy this. I really don't see any reasons why you wouldn't enjoy it because who don't enjoy a brand new lower anyway? But like, this will get you by. And then if you need time to, you know, save up enough bread to purchase your um your whoop de woo your other joint like the folding adapter with a special Daniel Defense lower and all this high speed gear, um this could definitely take you to the range. It still looks pretty impressive. It looks pretty clean and neat. You know, compared to the alternative, um, and I said it's an extra lower. And then after that, you can probably just throw this in the backpack and, you know, do what you need to do and keep it moving. Okay, with that said, thank you for watching. Hit that like, hit that sub, comment down below. Let me know how you feel. I appreciate you 100%. Um, please come back. I hope you enjoyed the video. Can't say that enough. Thank you, thank you, thank you. One.